I'm going to make a 7.3 power stroke injector diagnostic tool. That's a power probe. I'm going to drill some holes in this. I'm going to put some switches in there. So now I'm getting these switches put in here. I've got the holes drilled and they were three quarter inch. So just used a regular little unibit. And I've got my little pliers here. I can just reach in there and kind of tighten those nuts up behind the switches. And then plug this into the valve cover. And then I was hoping to get this figured out somehow. So plug in the back. And I can go through and I can cancel each cylinder at a time. And I can listen for an RPM drop. And I can plug this into either side, either valve cover. So then I drilled some holes in the back to line up with the buttons so that what I can do is I can go in here in the back and see these are screw in terminals and I can go in there and tighten the, the wires up in there. Now, I've already pre-soldered them so I'll have to see if those are going to fit which I can probably show you right quick. So they get right to the edge. And they don't go in any further because of the lump on there. So what you can do, you can do it with a torch. I've done it with a torch or a little soldering torch like this. This one's pretty quick. Let's make sure that it's heating up. There's a nice one with a big old drop on it. See that? See if you can see that. Come on, focus. There you go. Big old droop. So you just get it hot and flip it. See, and it's gone now. That's how you do that. So now we've got this ready to go, we can take these and put each one in there, in its respective holes. Got the glue gun after it. And you can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plug those in right there. This can go right through here. And I also got a PVC or PCB positive crankcase ventilation grommet. At some later point, I might do a uh, pin out for the glow plugs. But I don't think I'm going to do it just yet. I'm going to get this video finished. Okay, I got one more to do. But I'll show you how I did that and see if I can get this close enough. I'm 
These are the little tiny connectors. This is what's called the terminal plier. Uh, let's see if you can see it. There. Terminal pliers. If I can show you how that works. Okay, and then these two right here. And once you do that, here it comes out to the end. We can shrink that. Something like this. Just kind of put it like that. And we can try the torch. Remember, we'll kind of flip that. solder on the tip there. Okay. We'll be okay with that. So each corresponding color so that's going to be green's the second one in down in here. Let me bring you closer and kind of show you how I'm doing this. Get that monitor to where I can see it. So, one, two, three, four, as you plug it in, and they should kind of go this way, you should be able to kind of put it in a, like an S shape, because those harnesses by this time on the 7.3s are getting pretty hard, so, and we'll go try it. It's going to be a bit noisy. So this first, second, third, fourth cylinder. Here are the differences. Sorry, you've probably got wind noise and everything. It's just a mess out here. Try that again. I had to pull the air intake tube off. I just don't have enough room. Save you from pulling the valve cover off and unplugging each injector individually. That one seems a little weak, number five. Because there's a big drop there. That's a one, three, one, three, five, seven. One's pretty good. Three. Five's not a lot of change. Seven's a little better. There's something on five. So basically we've got a recap of what we did. And with the, the plug connector that we got, and I'll show you here, I've got another one. These are the new harnesses that you get to plug in the for the harness itself the engine wiring harness this is the under uh, valve cover harness and then it just plugs into the valve cover gasket right here which I don't have another one that 
basically that's what we're doing but I went backwards the other way I hooked them this way so that you plug the harness in and then I put the buttons in the middle to turn each cylinder off in respect and each button is not a it's it's a always on button it's called normally closed so when you push it you create an open so you as you can see you can push each button and get one cylinder to you can feel like the seat of your pants type of a feeling you can tell that there was no difference in cylinder number five sorry about that phone was ringing so like I say what you're basically doing is each each one of these uh, harness connectors not the white one that's your glow plug but this is the harness um, you're just basically turning each circuit off individually to to listen to the engine sound and and what it's what it's capable of doing and a lot of times you can you can feel that as as you drop the cylinder by pushing that button or pulling the injector sometimes you can pull a valve cover off and you just take each one of these off individually and and see what it does and you can have like a scan tool or something on there and watch the RPM drop and uh, the more RPM drop the healthier the cylinder but I think this cylinder number five is a little bit weak so it's probably going to warrant a uh, a compression test just to see if maybe uh, it's got some problems uh, it did get a new air filtration system put on it just uh, recently and the other one was a little questionable so I think we might have a dusted engine but it still seems to run okay it just blows a little black smoke uh, it's actually gray smoke so I think it's got a little bit of uh, engine oil mixed in there so they say if you have got a little blue smoke and a little black smoke it'll kinda be gray so but it seems like it's working okay but like I say that's kinda where we went with this and so I thought I'd give you that uh, rundown on how everything went together and those uh, switches I can put a link uh, down in the des description they're an Amazon product and so you should be able to get those if you needed to so anyway thumbs up again hopefully and sorry about the mess uh, this is a five bay shop condensed down into a one car garage so <laughs> it's crammed so anyway thanks